of course, meet the Chuck Todd is all over Biden's new challenger on the left, who everyone knows about. Or surely you've heard of Dean oh, Phillips. Oh, my God. I can't yeah. get his name out of my head. Yeah. Everyone knows who Dean Phillips is, right? He, I'd never heard of him before before this. Of course, because he's not someone on the actual left, Chuck Todd's allowed to acknowledge his existence. But Dean Phillips is a pretty serious member of Congress, maybe unknown. If he's sitting there on that ballot in New Hampshire, that doesn't have you nervous? It does. He literally just said he's unknown, maybe unknown. That doesn't have you nervous? Why would you be nervous about someone running with zero name recognition? Look, I think I'm well positioned to be president of the United States. You do. I do not believe I'm well positioned to run for it right now. So if you're well positioned to, to be president. Why can't you run now? You know why? Because literally no one knows who he is. This guy understands that better than the media trying to. I mean, this is so last week we were making fun of how unknown he was and what a non-entity he was. And the fact that Chuck Todd was trying to like gas him up as if he was this huge, uh, formidable opponent. Right. And then what happens next week? Face the Nation has him on. And of course, it's notable that someone people who have entered RFK Jr. and Marianne Williamson somehow haven't been on the shows. But Dean Phillips, all it takes is one suggestion from Chuck Todd, and then he's on uh, Face the Nation. Yeah, so he's not even actually running. No. He's just flirting with running, but he gets all this top billing. And right. the people who are actually running. They don't get anything. Against Biden. Nothing. Right. <laughs> and you suggest, you predicted that. You said this is just another way to marginalize RFK Jr. and Marianne Williamson. Now And Cornell. Didn't... And Cornell, right. And Cornell. So it's like they'll basically like they'll keep bringing him back and be like, Dean Phillips, there are no challengers to Biden right now. You're the only possible exactly. challenge. So and because, you don't even know if you're going to do it. Right. We're so committed to debate and diversity. We're bringing you on reluctantly, even though you're not even a challenger. But because there are no challenges, we have to talk to you. Exactly. We're that committed to a dissenting point of view. Right. Exactly. Right. Anyway, I look forward to more Dean Phillips every single week. Because yeah. Because we can't talk about any of the other candidates who are actually polling against Biden and polling pretty well, including right. RFK Jr. Yeah. Yeah, he's. I think the recent thing was that he's at 13 and Marion Williamson's at 10. I mean, I know it's it's not like that crazy or unpredictable. It just it is it's a little bit more blatant than I'm used to.